Hi, this is Michael Carl of Eastern CT Fly Fishing. This uh, pattern is going to be the Harvey Stonefly created by George Harvey uh, sometime back in the uh, 40s. So let's get started and while I tie I'm going to try and explain some of the unique features of this particular pattern. We're going to start with the thread base. You want to stay well behind the eye. You don't want to try not to crowd the eye. I want to weight this, so I want to stay within the front one third. This hook is a two size 10, 2x long, so it'll ride head up when the weight's added. I'm going to use Joe Humphrey's trick of applying a cotton dub base prior to weighting this fly. Uh, actually George Harvey used to do the same thing too. And it helps flatten out the weight into a broad profile. You'll see later. It's going to be a fairly heavy fly so I'm going to substitute wire this time instead of lead foil. And this will help kind of give it a little taper, natural taper to it, like the, the natural snowfly has. Just a little thicker up front. I'm going to throw a bunch of thread wraps on there. I'm also going to put some glue on this as well, some super glue, so this stuff doesn't spin later on. I'm going to take the thread to the bend of the hook. Going to add in some head feathers. Now, the original pattern called for partridge, but I've used pheasant tail, I've used grouse, I've used partridge. I've, this rate, this one here is going to be Indian hen. Tie that in. And I'm going to tie in some ribbing. I'm going to tie in three strands of chenille. Now you can use Pheasant tail, a clump of pheasant tail fibers, turkey, peacock harrow, or any of the other synthetics out there. I, I still like chenille, only because the chenille absorbs water. It's easy to work with and absorbs more water, and I think it adds a little more water weight to the pattern. Now the body, this is a two-tone pattern. The body and the bottom is going to be yellow. You could use various shades of yellow. This particular pattern is just going to be a pale yellow. But I've tied them with bright yellow bodies on the bottom. I've tied them with pale, pale creamy, pale yellow on the bottom. And I've tied them with um, like a dirty yellow. The key is to making it two-tone. Some people are going to say, well, why are you using so much dubbing? That's a waste of a lot of dubbing. Wouldn't wrap in yarn or 
floss be easier and quicker so yeah I could wrap it with yarn it'd be quicker and faster but I think um, the dubbing adds more water weight just like the chenille back and it adds more motion with all these little fibers and when I rub it on a rock before I start to fish it really gets buggy with the dubbing which you don't necessarily see that much if you had um, yarn on the bottom or floss on the bottom you'd have the two-tone look but you wouldn't really have that buggy look I'm going to wrap my wire in even turns. This is going to give it a segmented look. That's all going to help keep that <clears throat> shell back in place and keep that two tone body segment going. Now for the legs it's going to be the same material. In this case Indian hen. Like I said before partridge works great. Grouse. And the legs I want it really pretty thick clump. Because the legs and the stone flies are pretty stout. And then also these will be used as a plane when the body's flattened. It'll help the fly rock back and forth in the water column. Another pinching move right there. Looks about right. Just about done. Create a th thread head. Now the head could be fairly thick. Don't don't worry about that on the stone fly too much. You could get away with a little bit of thicker head. Don't forget, you have to tie in all that chenille too, so... Now to flatten it, just take your pliers and start to flatten it. Now that cotton base with the lead wrapped around it and the wire will all flatten out nicely, you know, give a pattern. give a nice wide flat pattern to it just like the natural I 
to throw some gloss on the head. And this pattern is done. Now the sizes I like to tie this pattern in are a 10 and a size 12, 2x long. You could go 6 or 8, 2. Um, what makes this a very good pattern is it's flat like the natural. It's got two tones, as you can see, as they rock back and forth. A darker body, lighter belly. And the fibers of the hen are going to move around in the water, create a lot of motion. And the wings on the side are going to look like legs, but they're also helping to keep this pattern planing back and forth in the water like this, rocking back and forth. And when a trout sees it, they'll see it the two-tone of it and it'll look like a, it'll really look like a stonefly to them. Um, since we have stoneflies throughout all of North America and Canadian provinces, uh, you can take this particular pattern anywhere you want to go because uh, there's stoneflies everywhere and, and uh, fish it and uh, be quite successful. And you can vary the weight on it, you can vary the colors of the body, the belly, and you can either do brown back top and uh, if you want you could even do uh, on some of the golden stones um, you could do just two tones in the, in the yellow uh, but I prefer to uh, tie the common stone as this with the dark back back and the yellow belly and that's the Harvey stone